the marathon is, is, is really a metaphor for life. It's a long way. It was a huge deal back in May of 1984. An estimated 50,000 people lined the streets of Olympia for the qualifying race of the first Olympic women's marathon. It was on live nationwide TV. It's Joni, it's Joe Benoit. And the champion wasn't supposed to win. I ran on a wing and a prayer. I didn't even know if I'd be able to go the distance, so to speak. You know, if I let her go. And Just a little over two weeks after getting knee surgery, Joan Benoit Samuelson won the trial race. And three months later, made Olympic history in Los Angeles, becoming the first woman to win gold in the marathon. She credits her passion for running. The biggest win was the first woman's Olympic marathon in L.A., but the race of my life was here in Olympia 35 years ago because on paper there's no way I should have been able to get through that race, and I did. The park by the state capitol in Olympia, where the race ended, is now known as Marathon Park. But there is a move to rename it after Benoit Samuelson and her history making run here. Anything is possible. She's returned to the capital city 35 years to the week, trying to inspire students at Olympia High School to find their passion. Most importantly, you have to believe in yourself, follow your heart and live your dreams. And that's exactly what I did here in Olympia and was able to go on to L.A. to represent the United States. Was there any like pressure you felt? She like, also spoke with members you know, of the high school's like, track and field team like, preparing for that. state tomorrow. She is like superwoman in my eyes at this point. Like that is so cool. Nothing like a pep talk from an Olympic champion, says Olympia senior B. Asamani. It really like hit me and I hope it will help me tomorrow. I think it will. I think that was like just like something I really needed to hear before tomorrow. So yeah. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.